welcome to today's series so today we will talk about australia and one of the things i want to make you know first we say before you come to this kind of country you got to know like this country also so today i will try to tell you the things we say you need to do before you actually go apply for your for your visas whether student or skilled visa work visa okay and one of the things will happen we say in the process i don't they talk to some kind persons so i will bring them in me and them go there for this show one of these days and they go they introduce you guys to some of the processes we involve for student um for student work and skilled visa all right so um as it be like this now if you did watch this video for the first time i bet just take our time go follow follow our page like subscribe comment and share well, I really do appreciate to be honest. So the next thing that I want to talk about is thank you so much for subscribing. The next thing I want to talk about now is that we need to talk about the qualification. Now, for you to be able to initiate, say you won't come to this place, they you need to actually say say Australia get like six states, six whole states. So in those six states, these six states now, now then they publish list sometimes. Once in a while they go publish this contact, say ah. Say the say, say occupations where they will say this occupation they look for. You understand? So the first thing we go try to be say, you go try to know if if they look for skilled visa, if say what is only for school, if some Australian state they need them. So if they, they need them, now we'll go move to the second level, which is assessment. Alright? So assessment. Remember what I talk, I said the first level now to know whether what thing you want, you know, assessors, what you want to do. If those ones, they're always there for the occupation list. It means, say, if you go for every state, the six states, say the occupation list when they bring out, say at least, say your own occupation day inside that place. So if you did there, you get hope of that skill visa. You understand? So now you become progress to the next level and that is the place of assessment. For so for assessment, for you to even do assessment, no matter the body, where they govern the thing for here. The first one we say, for you to do assessment, you got to take your English test. Because most organizations, most bodies, they need English tests. And you got to gather all your documents because they will ask you some certain things, where they are very important. And then you submit every proof of your job, whatever. So that is part of the process. You understand? So I want to talk, say, if you feel do this first two, then you are actually good enough to go and by the way there's an already existing group where we go add people where they interested and where they ready for the skilled and work visa all right so thank you guys so much i really appreciate i want to keep this video as simple as possible all right my guys i'm gonna share i'm gonna help me out eh? so i will grow together